with intent and uh, again use a trite expression mind muscle connection and keeping in mind that your shoulders are being hit on the back day and then you know press days in general chest day uh, they've already been exposed to a little work throughout the week anyway so you don't want to go too crazy on shoulder day if you have an exclusive shoulder day like I do but I Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, on today's episode, I am in Hampton, Virginia at the Hampton One Life Fitness Facility. And this is a post-workout intro. I just finished my workout and that workout today just happened to be a shoulder workout. Now, this is a 12-set, four-movement shoulder workout four movements three sets each at the 12 rep range rpe of about eight and did a couple of sets of calves at the end as well this is an outdoor workout at least the shoulder portion and dumbbells only and without further ado i'll stop yapping take you into the gym here and show you what i was up to we'll catch back up at the end wrap it all up Let's go do it. Okay, first I'm gonna start with what uh, most of you call heavy partial lateral raises. Now heavy's, all, heavy's always relative. And what I wanna do, like I said, I wanna do three sets to 12. I want that 12 rep to be in an RPE range of eight or so, meaning you have about two or three reps left in the tank. You don't wanna go all the way to empty. Ideally, the 12th rep will mean you'll have like two reps left in you. And it's gonna be heavy enough so that you reach that RPE of eight. Okay, now here I'm gonna start, my elbow is bent just a hair, and we're gonna do these partial, just right in here, and keep the tension down at the bottom. Set of 12. Right here, keep the tension on, right there. These are really good. Uh, for the really the totality of the shoulder, but primarily the lateral outside part of the shoulder. I love these. I think that's eight. <laughs> Let's pretend that's eight. Again, partial resistance kept down at the bottom. Don't drop all the way down. Nine. And And one more on the left side for good measure. There you go. <clears throat> three sets. We're gonna start with three sets of partial lateral raises at 12 reps. It's gonna feel good. All right. Okay, the next three sets of shoulder work are gonna be what I call shoulder flies. Gonna have the dumbbells in front of us. I'm going to use the same weight I use for the heavy, heavy partial lateral raises. So it's going to be kind of heavy. We're going to hinge the butt, keep the back straight, and come up right in this area right here. That's going to hit the lateral. And we're also going to start uh, um, introducing some rear delts in this movement as well. Ready? Three sets. Three sets. 12 reps. Again, hinge the, hinge the hip, back straight. Keep the tension on at the bottom. Focus on the lateral and rear delts on this movement. I can feel it. Okay, back straight. Again, a little heavier RPE of eight. Lost count. <laughs> One more left side for good measure. Left side, my well, right side's dominant, so I wanna do one more on the left side. Okay, so that's the second shoulder movement. Three sets of those bring us to six total sets of uh, shoulder work. So, so far we've isolated the lateral side. 
lateral side and rear with the shoulder flies. Now we're going to do some uh, pure lateral raises with some lighter weight. And, uh, okay, pure <laughs> lateral raises. I've got the uh, 20s here. These might be a little, a little bit heavy. We want to do these very strict and deliberate. I want to go to full perpendicular. And one thing I want to point out too is let's do this with my thumbs in front, laid over the top. Not like a grip here, but like this. I think we get better, more shoulder isolation and using it that way, using the thumbs over. Okay, again, three sets, nine reps. Keep the tension at the bottom again. Keep your arms as straight as you can, but a little bend is okay. I've got a little bend going here. Yeah, these are a little bit heavy, but it's gonna work. Again, three sets of 12 reps here. Lateral raises. Lost count again. Let's assume that was nine. A little breezy out here today. Nice. Again, one more for good measure on the left side. All right, there you go. So that's nine sets. We've done three sets of heavy partial at 12 reps. We've done three sets of shoulder flies at 12 reps. And we've done three sets of more isolation side laterals at 12 reps. Okay, so I am going to do three more sets here <laughs> to include some uh, interior front delts. And you've seen me do these before. I love these. These can be done with uh, dumbbells as well. I like to use a kettlebell. I like to keep my arms closer together on this. And as again, it's just a simple keep elbows bent just a hair right up to a little above chin level. Keep the tension at the bottom again. Three sets of 12, RPE eight again. I think these are excellent as well. It does feel good out here today. Okay, I think I got that count right. Ooh, that might have been <laughs> RPE of nine. But we're going to do three sets of those. Now, one thing I want to mention is I haven't done a, a whole lot or haven't focused a whole lot on my rear delts. On back day, I've been focusing on or doing stupid car. Now, on back day, I've been hitting my rear delts. So on shoulder day here, just kind of focus on the anterior and uh, lateral with a small smidgen of rear delts snuck in there. And that would have been with these, with the uh, shoulder flies. So that's pretty good. Nine total sets, three sets of 12 reps of heavy lateral, three sets, 12 reps, uh, shoulder flash, three sets, 12 reps. Purple will call these perpendicular laterals. And then three sets, 12 reps, kettlebell front raises. And I think that's a good shoulder workout, I really do. Now, if uh, you do those, like I said, with intent, and uh, again, use a trite expression, mind-muscle connection, and keeping in mind that your shoulders are being hit on the back day, and then, you know, press days in general, chest day. Uh, they've already been exposed to a little work throughout the week anyway, so you don't want to go too crazy on shoulder day if you have an exclusive shoulder day like I do. But I think that's good. I'm going to go in and uh, probably do some calf, calf work. And I haven't walked yet, so I still have to get a walk in. But I think that's a pretty good shoulder workout. Dumbbells only. Um, 
no cable works. Certainly you could do this with cable. A lot of cable options, but this dumbbell option here is good. Uh, and also before I forget this, these front raises, you could do these with dumbbells as well. You know, for a, a pronated grip, a wider grip, you know, just to focus on the front, front delts. But these kettlebells, pretty cool. All right, that's a lot of rambling. Um, I am gonna go finish up with some, uh, some calf work and then I'll catch back up with you in a few minutes, wrap this whole thing up. All right, there you have it. Today's 12 set shoulder workout. That is part of my new deviously <laughs> designed easier four day workout program. Now I may change the easier to modified based on uh, a viewer out there. Quentin, he suggests that I change it to modified. So I'll change it to uh, my new four day modified workout program. But the upshot of this workout program is, is going to be less volume and the work that I do do is going to be efficient and effective. I'm going to make every rep of every set count and I'm going to keep the reps around between 8 and 12 depending on the workout and today was 12 and I want to keep, I want to keep the RPE, rate of perceived effort, at 8 so I have a couple of reps left at the end of each set. I don't want to go to full failure on each set. And today was a good example of that and you may have noticed too i was winded so i was working through these sets fairly rapidly and uh it was, it was a good workout i think i'm pretty sure i got it done in uh, right around 40 minutes even including the two sets of calf work at, at the end there but it was dumbbell only you can keep that in mind there's a lot of options and i uh, just want to reiterate also that i didn't hit rear delts really hard because i have been on back day um, doing uh, two or three sets of rear delt work as well because it just feels better there. So primarily this workout was anterior, front, lateral, um, side delt work and a little bit of smidgen of rear delt in there. Um, but I felt it was a good shoulder workout. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. And I appreciate any input. Get a lot of good input from you folks. A lot of knowledge out there. And speaking of that, um, if you're this far along the line, far into the video, do me the favor, as always, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, share this with your friends, and if you haven't already, particularly if you're new and haven't been here, or you're still here in the video, consider hitting that like, that subscribe button. That would be awesome. It'd be great to have you amongst us. You're more than cordially welcome and invited. So... Before you sign off, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. That's the other thing. Leave me a comment. I love to see comments. I try to answer all of them. I really do. And it does help with the algorithm. It turns out the likes and the comments help get a few extra views. So enough of the salesmanship. I just want to say thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. And until next time, go get them. Mark out.